Home run derby in Arlington, Texas, but read before the players took the field. Four-time Grammy-nominated country singer Ingrid Andres kicked off the event with her rendition of the national anthem. Yeah, so a lot of people are talking about this. It's gone viral, maybe for all the wrong reasons. Listen. <laughs> Well, I don't know how to feel about this one. The, you saw the players there, their reaction to her performance, but the cameras caught Philadelphia Phillies third baseman Alec Bohm, and he had a smirk on his face. Hey guys, my name is DeBoer Darkins, and welcome back to my channel. And uh, this story, I think, is actually hilarious, sad, disappointing. <laughs> all at the same time not laughing necessarily at her just you know the irony you know like results tell the story you know so she this uh, country singer Ingrid Andress I never really heard of her maybe you've heard of her I probably even butchered her name that's how much I don't even know about her but what I do know is how she chose to sing the national anthem and let's just say uh, she didn't do it any justice now before i give you guys my full reaction and we get into the actual video you already know what to do like share and subscribe now let's play the video Ooh, broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. so far i haven't noticed anything crazy right it you know warming up i understand right For the You know, sometimes, if not most of the time, I actually learned this in, in business as an entrepreneur. Your job as an entrepreneur is not to go out there and create something that's never been done before. Your job is to go out there, find a problem that's already been solved and just solve it better. Right. Like <laughs> there's a whole story on why she was singing this way. And we're going to get into that. But. Geez, just just sync it the way it's always it always has been and and just keep it there and you know there's nothing wrong with just doing what works right that our flag was still there. Oh. just imagine being there oh Tired. For the land of the free. And the home of the brave. Yikes. You know, I served in the military 13 years. So maybe for me, it's this is much, it's more of a sensitive topic. Um, there's just no excuse for that. That is just bad. That is absolutely bad. Um, I, I don't know how you, <laughs> I don't know how you justify that. Right. And listen, you, there's different ways of singing it, but in a beautiful way, right? Like everybody has their way of doing it, but that sounds like she's off notes. The rhyme is off. Uh, her voice is not there. You know, and so what? What? What's the reasoning behind this? Why, why is this happening? I mean, the, 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 it begs the question. And what I'm going to do right now is actually go to her ex account, and I'm going to show you what she had to say about this, and it might shock you. Okay, this was posted about 12 hours ago. It says, "I'm not going to bullshit y'all. I was drunk last night. I'm checking myself into a facility today to get the help I need." 
That was not me last night. I apologize to MLB and all the fans in this country. I love so much for that rendition. I'll let y'all know how rehab is. I hear it's super fun. I, I hear it's super fun. Uh, why end it that way? Why, why, why do that? Oh, my God. This is... So that's what I'm saying. Results tell a story, guys. You know, we, we live in a country where people want you to ignore the results and they call you crazy when you criticize or question uh, what's really going on. And um, usually when there's smoke, there's fire. And that's this is just this is all bad. This is all bad. Now, this isn't to bag on her or anything like that, is, but it is an interesting story. And it goes back to alcoholism, right? And it goes back to mindset. If you're drinking alcohol because you need it to help you feel good, you have problems. You have problems. Yes, it is very true. And let's just keep it real. Most Americans are programmed to drink and smoke. It's in every single movie and TV show you watch. Since since the day you're born and you start watching TV, what do you see? People smoking cigs? And people drinking alcohol. That's what you see. So, of course, it, to you, it, it's, hey, this is normal. This is part of life. I should drink. Okay, are you wrong for taking a shot every now and then? No. But is there something up with you that causes that, that compromises your performance because you've been drinking? Yeah, that's a problem. That's an absolute problem. And I've served with people, and I know people uh, in, in my life in, in the past that, we, we would call them functioning alcoholics. They could be walking around with a 0.3 or higher blood alcohol level. And, um, you know, they'd be talking to your normal. And, and people like that exist. Sooner or later, they always get caught. They eventually get a DUI. It eventually, you know, blows up in their face. And so if, if you're out there or you know someone who's out there and you start to notice that drinking starts to become a thing that they are using to feel good, it's not going to end well for them. Me, you, or anybody else, we may not be that person that should tell them anything because honestly, it's really between them and God and God will show them and things like this will take place in their life and they need something this dramatic to wake up and be like, oh, okay, I need help. Because sometimes us just telling people they need help, that usually doesn't work. It needs to be like an emotional impact, right? Something that just comes out of nowhere and goes bang. And then they're like, oh yeah, I probably need to, uh, you know, rethink my life, right? And everybody goes through that in their own way. Uh, but for people who definitely are caught up in the alcoholism part, it's such a sad thing. It's tough. It's challenging. But yeah, that that's really my mindset about this. Uh, and I, I I, I really hope that she gets off the alcohol, of course. And um, this is why it's very important to, to take care of your mental health. Stop using drugs. Stop using alcohol. Stop using social media. Stop using all of these things you think will make you happy and feel good. And start focusing on the inside, inside of you, your relationship with God, the relationship with yourself, your spiritual being, you, and work in that arena, not in the outside world where there's all these vices and things that they tell you, just do this and you'll feel better. And that's not actually the truth. But this is my mindset. So what is yours? What do you think about this national anthem and her her stance on it and how she did it? And then ultimately what she came out and said, I want to hear from you and more in the comment section below. Uh, thank you for checking out the video today. I'll see you in the next one.